What's up guys? I'm Lojo, back at it again today for you guys, doing another challenge video. Only difference is today I'm at Academy Sports. A lot of you guys are familiar with this store. But let's be honest, there are way too many Walmart fishing challenges out there. So that's why I'm here. Let's get in here, start looking around, and I'm gonna give you a little background on why I'm doing this challenge. All right, guys. So there's this tiny little pond right off the main highway where I live in Southeast Alabama. And there are fish in it, there's bass, there's even a couple good sized bass. The problem is the water is so shallow and it's so clear the bass are very finicky, okay? Really hard to catch them on traditional bass fishing gear. So I thought to myself this morning, why not go with more of a micro fishing approach? Really light line, a small spinning combo, small lures, something that's not gonna spook those fish. Hence, the micro fishing aspect of this challenge. I looked at my wallet this morning and realized I literally only had a $20 bill in there, so that's where the whole $20 aspect of the challenge comes from. But I think we can get everything we need for $20 here. Don't mind my giant taped up finger, it's literally just hanging on by a thread. I almost sliced it off this morning, opening my garage, somehow something that I've done a million times before. This morning, I just couldn't figure out how to do it. All right, so I figured the first thing I should probably get is a, a nice little small spinning combo or something because that's gonna be the, the most expensive thing, so. And this is already looking to be a terrible choice coming to Academy because I have not seen one under $20 yet. Here we go. Now, this is one. <laughs> this is just, uh, this is, uh, wow, that's all I can say. But you know what, this is $9.99, so I'm thinking this is gonna be clearly the way to go here. Right, so we've got our combo. Luckily, it already has some line on it, so we don't have to worry about buying any line. So now we just gotta find a couple lures. We got about six, seven bucks left before tax. See if we can find some lures that could catch bass, but aren't big enough to spook them away. Some beetle spin action. You know, I've heard a lot about these kinds of lures. Black is normally a good color. White's a good color. I don't know. You know, this, is, this would be a good like multi-species bait. You know, we may actually catch more than just bass on this. I'm thinking the crappie section is gonna be really where I'm gonna get cheap, small micro baits that will also work with bass. Here's some real cheap jig heads, like white jig heads. Let's see if we can find something to put on there. What's all this? Crappie slider, it's like a, like a grub, like a white grub. You know, that, I'm, oh, that actually might be perfect to go with the little jig heads I just picked up. What I'm gonna do, since I don't have a lot of money left, I'm gonna get one additional beetle spin, just in case like I lose the first one or break off. All right guys, so I got my little combo. I got some little micro lures. Let's head to the front and see if I actually came under the $20 limit. 1826, oh yeah, that's, that's money. Boom, 1826, easy. Sweet, so we actually managed to keep it under $20, $18.26 was my total. I actually had like another dollar to spare. I could have bought another beetle spin or something else, but whatever. Let's take a look real quick at what we got here. So obviously we got our combo, which is like a tiny little, like two foot ice fishing combo probably. Tiny, it's probably like six pound test on there or something. We got two beetle spins, which are little, they're like tiny spinner baits. It's for crappies, it's kind of what they look like. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to catch bass, but I'll take anything at this point. Got some jig heads, some white jig heads. That I'm gonna put some of these little grub crappie sliders on. Like I said, guys, we're, like I said, we're trying to target bass here. But if I can catch anything else, that would be cool too. So guys, I'm all done shopping. Let's go ahead and head out to the spot. I'm gonna get rigged up and see if we can complete this challenge. Oh god. Whew. Ow. You guys can see this is a extremely hazardous trip. Uh, whew, I made it. So guys, if you can see the road, the highway's right there. So you have to walk through all this stuff, kind of parallel to this little creek and waterfall, and this is where we get in. Whew. All right, so I got my micro pole. The first bait that I'm gonna throw it's got crap all over it from walking through the woods. I start with a little jig head with a little grub. I mean, why not, right? I can actually cast this thing pretty well. It was my first cast, and I mean, it just kind of... Oh, man, that was, that was a hit for sure. Something just hit it. This thing casts like a dream, guys. 
Well, except for that one, because that was my fault. But, all right, so I just casted my grub jig head into a tree and broke off. So I'm gonna give one of these little beetle, shin, beetle spins a shot. This, this could be like, this could be legit. Kind of camouflage right there too. Like I bet you the fish can't even see me up here. Oh God, unless I fall in the water. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, I got something. Got something. It's like a pan fit. It's a bluegill. It's a little bitty bluegill. Oh God. <laughs> okay, fish number one. Look at that, he's got a freaking mouth full of grub right there, a beetle spin. Okay, nice. First species, bluegill. See ya. Okay, the beetle spin putting in work already. Oh, that one got hit as soon as he hit the water. What the heck? What do we got here? What is this? This is what I should be using as bait on a normal bass fishing day. This is like a little green sunfish, I think. You guys are gonna have to help me identify some of these fish. Cause I'm not the most knowledgeable guy ever. Looks like a green sunfish to me, kind of like a bluegill, but he's missing the dot. I think that's a green sunfish. I'm just gonna go with that. Let's just say green sunfish. So that's two species already. Not the species we're looking for, but fun nonetheless. Somebody's probably called the cops on me. Now we're just the SWAT teams rolling up on me on this secret fishing spot. Hello, 911. Yeah, Lojo's fishing at that secret spot again. Oh, there's another bite. Oh, what is that? Whoa, it's a weird looking fish. Oh, it's a bluegill. It was just really orange. Oh my goodness. That thing had a big large orange body look at that that's a little bit better one okay well we got the bluegill thing down if we could ever just get something else He's just hanging out there in front of me like he wants to hang out all right guys i'm gonna take a little bit of a break because i'm struggling out here we were catching some bluegill caught a green sunfish i think i had a bass on momentarily but he got off this is not good enough for me to say this challenge is complete. Although I did technically complete it, but the whole goal was for me to catch a bass using this micro equipment. I'm gonna take a little break, eat, and if it takes me an extra day to come back out here, I will. All right guys, this is day two of this little challenge. And day one, you guys saw, I did catch a bunch of fish and I got the multi-species thing down. Got some green sunfish, some bluegills. I'm back out here today with the same mission, catch some fish with the micro rod and reel from Academy Sports. But today we're focusing on bass. So I'm out in a different pond that I know there are a lot of small bass. So we've got a much better chance at catching something bass wise on this micro rod. Let's see if I can pick apart these little brush piles like I have in the past. Got this little white jig head and grub trailer. Like a swimming grub. There we go. Got something. Oh yeah, a little bass. Oh, he came off. Oh, guys, he came off. Dang it. That's okay though, so, so we know we're on the right track here. We know little bass can eat this thing. <laughs> that was awesome, I didn't even feel like a bite. Just feel like I was snagged on something. One real problem I know is gonna be how small this hook is. You guys see how small that is, even for a bass that's relatively small, that's that's a small hook. So that's gonna be a challenge, keeping them pinned if and when I do hook one. And another bite, yeah we do. Oh God, pulling drag, monster, ripping drag. <laughs> oh my goodness, ah yeah, look at that. Look at that beautiful largemouth bass with the mouth full of grub. Check that out. <laughs> that is awesome. Awesome to the max. All right, guys. I'm gonna try to catch a couple more. Maybe, maybe something with some size. I feel so cool to catch a bass on this though. I'm not even gonna lie.
Oh, there we go. That one got hit as soon as he hit the water. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. I don't even know if the fish knows he's hooked. <laughs> God, how's he staying pinned? Oh my God, he's fighting so hard, guys. Oh no. Ah, a little bigger. A little bigger. Not the smallest fish I've caught out of here, that's for sure. Right at the top of the mouth. He choked that grub, guys. Here we go. Number two on the tiny rod and grub. Gotta love it, guys. Got to love it. Oh, there's another one. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, he got away. That's the kind you expect to catch on a combo like this. Just a tiny little jugger. Well, this may end this challenge real quick because I've used all the jig heads that I bought. Yep. <laughs> there it is. I just broke off on my last jig head. But you know what? It just took that one last jig head to catch, what, three bass? Two, three bass? Hooked into a couple more. All right, boys, that's it for this challenge. I finally broke off on the last little jig head that I had. We caught fish on the beetle spin. I think that's what we caught all the pan fish, like the green sunfish and the bluegills on. I switched to the white jig head with the white little tiny grub swim bait trailer, switched ponds, and we actually caught a few bass with it. So incredibly fun challenge, guys. I love doing stuff like this. If you enjoy stuff like this, make sure you hit that like button to let me know you enjoy stuff like this so I'll know to do it more often. I know these challenges have been done to death, but I would encourage you guys, all of you out there, just to go out there and try it, whether you're filming it or not. It really is a challenge, and it kind of changes up the monotony of fishing. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, all that good stuff, keep track of me. I love you guys, I will see you later.